My name is Paul Barna. I coach the wide receivers at Monsignor Donovan High School. I've been here five years. I'm recently married, 27 years old. Um, a few years ago, four years ago when we started this virtue program, it was tough on me. It was I know it was tough on a lot of the coaches. They didn't know really how to approach the players, how to talk to what to talk to them about. We were told to dig deep in the in their lives, but we didn't know really how to do it. And as we started getting into it, we started learning more about ourselves and realized that we have to learn as coaches more about ourselves first before we can try to talk to the kids and pull stuff out of them about their lives. So the first year was a very trying year. Second year, it got a, it got a lot better and we started getting a direction. And two years ago with the program, it really shot off the ground and we start as a as a person I was a single guy then and I really I didn't I wasn't doing all the all the right things all the time and I started realizing that there is more to life than going out and partying and doing other things and once I started to realize that I realized I wanted to settle down and that's when I met my, my soon-to-be wife and I said, you know what, I am not going to, I'm not going to be mean to this girl. I want to actually make it work. And I think I, I attribute that directly to the Virtue program. You know, we mentor these players, but without them knowing, knowing it, they're mentoring us back. Two years ago, I had never picked up a Bible before in my life. I, mean, I was, I went to church, I did all that, but I never really read the Bible. And now, ever since about two years ago, I have the Bible right next to my bed, and I try to read it every single night, even if it's just a little part, because I feel it's important. I think it's a great story, and it's, and it really, it's really helped me grow as a person. You know, I, I'm recently married, and I never, I never really, once I started turning 18, I never really went to church a lot, and now I make it a point to go to church every Sunday, to, like I said, read the Bible. And I feel that as a coach, the, uh, the Virtue program has helped me more than a lot of the players because if I didn't have the Virtue program, I don't know if I would be married right now. I There's a good chance I would be, but there's a good chance I wouldn't be. Um, I wouldn't have met this wonderful woman that I have and I wouldn't be the person that I am. And you know, through the Virtue program and now through marriage, I'm starting to realize all the times my dad said, you know, when you're my age, when you're a father one day, you'll understand what I'm talking about when I used to come home late, this and that. <clears throat> and even though I'm not a father yet, I'm starting to get that fatherly instinct and understand what he was talking about. And I know that this is going to grow directly into uh, parenthood when I, when me and my wife start to have children. And it's it's just work done wonders for me and I couldn't I couldn't imagine four years ago me sitting in this spot and saying this because you really the coaches really have to buy into it and sell out and thank God we had a wonderful staff here that really sold out to it and we have coaches that have said that they've grown through this program tremendously, not just myself. And it has it has helped all our lives and not just that, it's even better knowing that we have touched the lives of these players and that they're better men because of it. Um, I still have contact with some players that are in college or out of college and they ask about the Virtue program, they ask if we're still doing it, they ask if we still go to Virtue camp because they said that was one of the best times of their lives and you know it makes me feel good because I know that I'm not just coaching them as a as a football player i'm coaching them as a person and making them better every day